Uh, karibuni tena. Welcome back. Na tunaendelea na status of matter. Uh, kwenye hichi kipindi tunaendelea kuangalia kuhusu guest laws, kuhusu guest laws. Na kama kwenye vipindi hivyo pita tuliangalia kuhusu introduction to states of matter pamoja na parameters of guesses. Now, hapa naamini nitakufuko nazungumzia guest laws kama umeangalia parameter of guesses hautachanganyikiwa. Uh, the volume of a given sample of gas depends on temperature and pressure. Volume and depending on temperature and pressure. So any change in temperature or pressure will affect the volume of the gas. As a result of experiment studies from 7th to 9th century, scientists derived the relationship among the pressure, temperature and the volume of a given mass of a gas. This relationship which describes the general behavior of gases are called gas laws. Kwa gas laws zina tupa relationship kati ya parameters za gases. Zile parameters za gases ambazo tume discuss kwenye kipindi kilichopita. Is gas laws zina tupa relationship kati ya parameter of gases. Now generally gas laws show the relationship between gas parameters. Uh, our first gas law we are discussing is Boyle's law. Boyle's law. Boyle's law. Uh, Boyle's law gives us the relationship between pressure and the volume. Pressure and the volume. Boyle's law. In in 1660, Robert Boyle's found out experimentally the change in volume of a given sample of a gas with pressure at volume at room temperature. Ko aliangalia jinsi gani volume ya gas na change with pressure. From his observation, he formulated a generalization known as Boyle's law. And Boyle's law can be stated that the volume of a fixed mass of a gas at constant temperature is inversely proportional to its pressure. Volume of a fixed mass of the gas at, if, at constant temperature is inversely proportional to pressure. So this is how mathematically can be written the Boyle's law volume is inversely proportional to temperature. Uh, volume is inversely proportional to pressure. Sorry. Or sometimes you can state it as at constant temperature, the volume of a fixed mass of a gas is inversely proportional to its pressure. So what things are important in stating these gas laws? First, you should remember at constant temperature, then volume is inversely proportional to temperature. If the pressure is doubled, then the volume is half d unavo double pressure volume ina inapungua nusu yake uh, so when we are expressing these we will be using the same letters uh, under the conditions which temperature and number of moles are constant uh, constant constant then volume is in inversely proportional to pressure removing the proportionality sign then v will be is equal to uh, a certain constant k divided by p. Now, what you will end up with will be v times p is equal to constant k. So v1, p1 will be is equal to v2, p2. That will be is equal to constant k. So simply, v1, p1 is equal to v2, p2. Or sometimes you can say v1 divided by v2 is equal to p2 divided by p. One. Uh, this is the general expression uh, used in the calculations of Boyer's law. Used in the calculation of Boyer's law. So, unazo kawa na volume moja ya gesi na pressure hake. Of then you can change kimoja hapo. Either volume au ka change pressure. Of bada hapo, untaka kuona kwamba pressure hake, pressure 2 au volume 2 ita kwaji. Pressure 2 au volume 2 ita kwaji, utapata kwa kutumia expression hiyo hapo expression hiyo hapo ya Boyle's law so note that for Boyle's law to be valid the number of moles and temperature must be kept constant for a given gas for Boyle's law to be valid number of moles and temperature must be kept constant number of moles and temperature must be kept constant we have some of the graphs here representing the Boyle's law uh, as you can see if we plot the graph of um, 
if we put the graph of volume against pressure, volume V against pressure P, uh, for Boyer's law, the graph will appear like this. Um, that means, let's say here we have volume, volume, and here we have pressure. So let's say here we add the first volume, V1, V1, P1. Volume 1, you know, if you have, you know, you have a Compression of a cup volume, you have a to kiongeza volume kwenda kwenye V2, pressure na pungua. Hii ndo axis ya pressure. Kwenda hivi ni increase in pressure, kwenda hivi ni increase in volume. Tukiongeza volume, pressure na pungua P2. Kwa hivi ni calculation lazima unajua. Unafuzidi kuongeza volume, pressure na pungua. Lakini tuki plot graph ya volume, graph ya volume against inverse of pressure, 1 over P. Kwa sababu volume na inverse of pressure, they are direct proportional our graph will appear as a straight line kama vile. Kwa volume against pressure inakuwa vile. Lakini volume against inverse of pressure the direct proportion of graph inapia as a straight line. Kwa hiyo hiyo ni kuhusu Boyer's law. Na tuunganishe tuende kwenye Charles law, Charles law. In law ya pili in 1787 Jacques Charles investigated the effect of change of temperature on the volume of a fixed amount of gas at constant pressure. Uyo ali investigate effect ya nini? Bwana Charles ali investigate effect ya change in temperature on volume. So our second law which is Charles uh Charles I mean Charles Charles law Charles law explains the relationship between volume and the temperature. How volume change with respect to temperature. So he established a generalization which is called Charles law. And we are stating Charles law, the volume of a fixed mass of a gas at constant pressure is directly proportional to its absolute temperature. Volume of a fixed mass of a gas at constant pressure is directly direct proportion to this absolute temperature at constant pressure so volume is direct proportion to temperature when p and number of moles are constant this is charles law mathematical expression of charles law so removing the proportionate sign v will be equal to k divided by t v divided by t is equal to k V1 divided by T1 is equal to V2 divided by T2, which is equal to constant K at constant P and, and N. Uh, so V1 divided by T1 is equal to V2 divided by T2. Or in other words, we can express as V1 divided by V2 is equal to T1 divided by T2. Uh, this is the expression of Charles law expression of Charles law this is the expression of of Charles law and how does it affect the volume of gas uh, how does the temperature affect the volume of gas when we increase temperature na volume of gas inazidi kuongezeka according to Charles law kwa hiyo ukienda utakuja kupata expression kama hiyo hapo na experimentally It was found that the volume of the gas increases by 1 divided by 273 increases by 1 divided by 273 of its original volume for every increase of 1 degree centigrade and it will decrease by the same factor by every decrease from zero. Kwa hiyo hiyo maana yake nini? Ukianzia kwenye zero uki increase 1 degree centigrade Increase ya volume ile inaonekana inaongezeka 1 divided by 273. Yaani hii ndo kama ratio ratio kiwango cha volume kilicho kinaongezeka. Hiki hapa fraction hii hapa volume ilikuwa inaongezeka. Thus if we note if the initial volume of the gas at temperature zero, we note it to say any volume at 0 degree centigrade at 0 degree centigrade. Then the volume of the gas at 273 
would expect to be yani manake kama volume ya gas at 0 degree centigrade ikawa ni sana v not then volume final itakuwa sana v not plus kwa sababu kwa kila 1 degree centigrade inaongezeka volume ya gas inaongezeka ni moja ganya kwa 273 kwa hiyo ikiongezeka degree centigrade 273 maana yake tutachukua ngapi 273 mara moja ganya kwa 273 volume ya gas itakayoongezeka kwa kuongezeka 273 degree centigrade tutapata ni ngapi oh kumbe ni 273 ganya kwa 273 which is equal to how many kwa kama the volume of the gas at in, at i mean at, at 0 degree centigrade equal to v not volume ya gas inaongezeka ni fraction hii hapo v not so hii hapo itakuwa v not na hapo v not huko utakuja kupata increase ya volume ni yule pale v not au kumbe volume final itakuwa sana v not plus 273 273 vile by 273 v not which hapa uh, una plus 273 which is equal to 2 v not kwa hiyo kumbe kila unavyo increase 273 degree centigrade volume ya gas inafanyaje ina double so the volume of the gas will be doubled at positive 273 degree centigrade also the volume of the gas at negative 273 would be expected to be zero at negative 273 at negative 273 v final itakuwa sana v not minus 273 divided by 273 v not the volume of the gas here would be expected to be zero however under experimental conditions kwenye mazingira ya kufanya experiment each kit work okay so this negative 273 uh, is termed as absolute zero the volume of the gas is expected to be zero at negative 273 so negative 273 degree centigrade is known as absolute zero temperature absolute absolute zero temperature kwa sababu gani kwa sababu kwenye zero degree centigrade temp, uh, volume ya gas haiwi zero kwa hiyo hiyo haiwi haiwezi kawa termed kama ni absolute zero inayokuwa termed kama ni absolute zero lazima volume ya, ya gas yenyewe pia iwe zero ili volume ya gas iwe zero ni negative 273 however this condition haiwezi ikatokea experimentally so this graph explains what i was explaining uh, unaweza kuona hapo kuna vertical axis kwenye graph kuna vertical axis au kuna horizontal axis kama hivi uh, ni kwamba according to charles kuna volume fulani ya gas pale hii volume ni v not na hapa hii point ndio 0 degree centigrade huko ni temperature ini e point ndo 0 degree centigrade kwa kuna kuna volume kuna volume fulani kuna volume fulani ya gas pale asa according to charles ni kwamba ukinyosha huko mstari ukinyosha hii straight line kainyosha hii asijenyosha na rula lakini aliazume hapa ambapo volume inaweza kawa zero hapa lazima pawe ni negative 273 negative mbili sabini tatu degree centigrade and this is termed as absolute zero however ukiongeza huko mpaka kufika positive mbili sabini tatu degree centigrade huku the volume of the gas will be doubled so the volume of the gas will be is equal to uh, the volume of the gas will be is equal to 2 v not the volume of the gas will be equal to 2 v not so you see uh, kwamba ukiongeza temperature hadi 273 temperature volume inaongezeka hadi 2 v not na ukipunguza hadi negative 273 inakuwa hii ni graphical illustration of the charles law na absolute zero temperature nasema this is the hypothetical tuna define kama hypothetical because haiwezi katokea kwenye experiment all is defined as theoretical temperature where the volume of all gases were expected to be zero absolute zero temperature is the theoretical temperature 
where the volume of all gases were expected to be zero, or with the hypothetical temperature whereby all gases were supposed to have zero volume. This is the hypothetical or the theoretical because all gases become liquefied before reaching. Kwa kabla zijafika kwenye, kwenye negative miambiri sabina tatu. Ambao negative miambiri sabina tatu degree centigrade itakuwa sana zero Kelvin. Kabla zijafika kwenye zero Kelvin zinakuwa liquefied, zinakuwa tali ziko liquid. Domana hiyo inakuwa defined at the hypothetical temperature. So generally, the absolute temperature is related to the temperature in degree Celsius by the following equation. Come up to some ones of absolute temperature T is equal to temperature in degree Celsius plus C. Miambiri, Sabini, na Tatu. So, to kita kupata temperature in Kevin is equal to temperature in degree Celsius plus Miambiri, Sabini, na Tatu. Lakin to kita kupata temperature in degree Celsius in sana temperature in Kevin minus Miambiri, Sabini, na Tatu. Na tenda kutumia sana his expression kwenye when you calculation z to the state of matter. Uh, for Charles law to, to hold or to be valid, the number of moles and the pressure of the gas must be kept constant. So in this period I'm ending up here and in the next period we will start uh, discussing about the combined gas law or a Morton's gas law. We are still discussing about the gas law and after there we will continue with the kinetic theory of matter after finishing the gas laws. Gas laws is a very long session and if you understand gas law, uh, it will be very easier for you to master the gas gases questions. Thank you everybody. Subscribe to the channel, share the video and click the link below to join my telegram group. Thank you.